days ago I got reached out to for a sponsorship by a makeup company. They said I was the perfect fit for their product. I'm a perfect fit. Me. Do I look like a beauty guru that does YouTube videos on how to do makeup? So to humor myself, I'm going to make a video completely dedicated to makeup and looking like an Instagram model. Without further ado, let's start painting our face. So for hair for Instagram models, basically what you need is you need a natural wave, which for me I'm lucky enough where if I fall asleep with wet hair I get this and a really unhappy scalp. So what you need to do is you need to put on foundation. Kate doesn't have foundation because Kate doesn't use foundation, but I have this thing because I have really dark circles under my eyes, so we're just gonna, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> so normally what I do with this is I just grab this and then I just do this, but however, since we are beauty gurus, we use the sponge which I tried using once and it didn't work. So, we're just gonna get this. We have to rub it all over our face. Oh yeah, make sure you do your mustache line so you don't have a mustache. Girls don't need mustaches, am I right? Not like I shaved mine off two minutes ago. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't happen. So now that your face is super not the same color as your skin, let's move on. There's a highlight, a contour, and a blush. I've used the contour and the highlight a couple times, but it's it doesn't show up, so we're going to make it show up today. This is what Instagram models do. They get a lot of contour. I'm not sure if this is how they do it, but you know, find your cheekbones right there and just, you know, just go for it. We're going to get like a nice dark streak. Oh yeah, get right up on that cheekbone. More contour, yeah. Got to make sure we have really sharp cheekbones and really sharp jawline because apparently people like that on Instagram. Not me, but you know, who am I, right? Who am I? No one important. Next we're going to do our highlight because apparently highlight is a thing. I don't know, most people can just be sweaty and get away with it, but here I am. Ready? Okay, so highlight goes like up here on your, your cheekbone. And this doesn't really show up because I think I have like a really cheap version of a highlight, but you know. We have to contour our nose because some people don't like the shape of their nose. So they, you know, contour it. Me? I didn't think of that because, you know, I don't care enough, but here we are contouring our nose. All right, so we could either go for light pink or dark red. Now all you gotta do is pat it on your face, like so. Hmm. Yes. Can you tell I am blushing? You really wanna get that look like you just ran a 5K marathon as fast as you could. Ah, perfect. I have a bunch of different eyeshadows I could choose from, but right now I'm feeling very bold. So I wanna pick the most bold thing I could possibly do, which is this. Now this I picked up from the store and I haven't really ever used it because I'm not sure what it is, but you know, Instagram models. And it's, it's a gel, okay. Ooh, that is glue. This is glue. Close your eye and apply the glitter. Make sure you get up underneath the brow to really like show how far up your eyebrow can go. Good amount of glitter on there. And let's continue. Do I look bold or do I look bold? So now we are going to use our uh, gold palette just to really seal in the bold gold. Little brushy brew. Just gonna apply it under here. Mmm, glorious. We're going to add a little darkness to our gold because everyone has a dark side. No, it's perfect. Stop trying to be perfect. No one believes you, Janet. Okay, so we're going to add this on the corner because, you know, everybody has a little dark side in their corner. Mmm. Perfect. So now that we're done with that, ooh, we need to move on to something that's very important and very expensive. Eyeliner. I bought this a while ago, thinking, of course I can draw my eyeliner on. This is no problem. Normally I use a pen, like a twisty pencil, pin, whatever that is, but no, we're gonna draw it on. How are we gonna draw it on? We'll figure it out when we come to that. So as yeah, you go right here and you're just going to draw, we wanna really go for that feathered look. Beauty. So now we have our winged eyeliner on both sides. 
We look dangerous. Now that we have our eyeliner set in stone, we need to move on to our lashes. Now, I see everyone all over the world using these things. I'm still not 100% sure what they do, but I've seen it on Instagram, so we're just gonna, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can really feel them curling. Yes, bend my lashes, bend them to your mercy. Now normally, Instagram girls will put on fake lashes, but I don't have time for that, so we're gonna put on a lot of mascara. And now we move on to the most important bit, the lips. We're gonna use the color that matches the roses on my shirt the best, which you will see at the end of this, which also matches the blush. I'm talking too fast. Okay, one thing I've noticed of Instagram models is they like to go over their normal lip line, which is fine, not something I would do, but if that's what isn't, it's what's hip, then let's, let's do that. I have the base down. Now we have to go over my lip line. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Good job. This is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no limit to the lips. There's no limit. Ugh, slay me. Can't even tell. This is what it takes to look like an Instagram model. Now all we have to do is pose like an Instagram model. I know it's weird that I've been gone for so long and this is what I come out with, but you know. Just know this is who I am. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was stupid and I can't even touch my face because there's so much product on it right now. See you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a fantastic day and the fun stuff. Okay, bye.